Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing another weekly grind video. I apologize for last week because I did not have one out for you. Um, so I will be definitely be doing one for today. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. This is the video where we go over both the global and the JP side of Dokkan Battle, the events and the banners that are available. So shout out to dbz.space for having all this information neatly lined out for us. Let's go ahead and jump into it. First off, on the global side, the EZA Extreme Z Awakening of Broly is available till 5-2, so you have every day to do that until 5-2. Go ahead, jump into it. Really worth it. Um, actually, because of the new dupe system update that just came out, I did have three dupe paths unlocked of him. I ended up filling in all three of them 100%. It. Um, I just need one more for the bottom left dupe path. Uh, unfortunately, what I ended up doing is back in the day, back back in the day, I ended up increasing his super deck level. I really, before the dupe system was even a thing, I really wish I had saved him so I could get all four dupe pads unlocked. But at some point, I know I'll get another one of him. Um, so uh, mine's look, mine's looking real nice. I haven't taken him out for battle yet, but I'm definitely going to do that because of that Raditz event that's currently available for the AOE need. So I'll definitely be running him for some damage testing. Um, anyway, he is here. I highly recommend doing it. Um, I ran a nice team. If you want to check the video from a couple days ago that I had posted, I showed you the team that I ran. Uh, essentially, you just need to either, if you have LR, Goten, and Trunks here set, you really have nothing to worry about. Those are your main units. Um, you definitely want to grind out the Whis, uh, so that way you could have him on your team for a heal. Um, and outside of that, um, I mean, you just need some hybrid Saiyans to tank, essentially. Uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta does work if you don't have the LR, Goten, and Trunks. He is our good leader for all those stat buffs and everything. Um, or, obviously, the uh, Gohan, the hybrid saying leader gohan he would also be the one of the primary guys you might want to run but anyway this is here until 5 2 highly recommend doing this even if you have lr broly because lr broly is really good for the world tournament but this guy tanks so he's good for everyday events you know the lr broly is always going to be the number one for that world tournament because he gets the double aoe as long as you go for uh, below 18 key um from 12 to 18 keys and actually i think it's 12 to 17 key because once you hit 18 you're doing the individual but that makes it worth it for the World Tournament because you definitely need that double AoE. In terms of regular battles, you would definitely want to consider running this Broly. Because while he doesn't hit as hard, he tanks. So you're going to want to have him on your team instead. Uh, just my opinion on it anyway. So keep that in mind when you're running this. Next one is going to be the Vegeta event, the Indomitable Warrior. Aim for Doken Awakening Vegeta. If you guys pulled him, I did. I really wish I had more of him. I would love to get him 100%. It. This guy is a phenomenal unit. This is the, I'm talking about the actual strength one. Uh, he counters and everything, but his event is here till 430. So you can go ahead and grind him out. You can f uh, farm out Vegetas from stage four. So you could definitely do that. Highly recommend doing that. Um, it's just a regular Vegeta. You can feed him into other Vegeta cards if you need to. Um, you can Doken Awaken him if you want to. He Doken Awakens the Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, and Bulma. You could feed this his Doken Awakening into the base form card, which is the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. Um, so, actually, yeah, you would have to Doken Awaken both of them for that to feed him in. Um, okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's the thing. So you would have to do that, and you would have to have some luck in order to get him fed into Super Detective. I honestly just use Kai's on him, so uh, you know it's worth it if you do. Um, I... I personally think he's really worth it because <clears throat> he is a hard hitter. Sorry, I just woke up. My voice is a little bit raspy and everything. Um, anyway, uh, so you get the trunks and the Bulma medals from the actual event. Vegeta medals, you have to get these stupid little... Um, I don't know what these are, like little milk cartons or whatever the heck they are. Um, and you have to go into Baba Shop with them and purchase the medals. You need them for the Vegeta medals and for the Beerus medals. Beerus medals are here. Um, you definitely want to get your Intelligence one up in Dokken Awakened. Now, personally, I'm holding on to mine because I'm holding on for the Tech Beerus, the SR Beerus that drop. I'm going to feed them into him so you can get up to Super Attack 10 before I Dokken Awaken him. Because Attack plus 120% at a Super Attack 10, uh, especially with base, base dupe system, that, that's going to be awesome. I think I actually have him more than base dupe system as well. Um, so I think I have like top left and bottom right because I think I kept on pulling him. Uh, so I'm, I'm super hyped about that. He's a really awesome unit. Uh, anyway, outside of that, definitely go ahead and do this event. Um, there, the new support item is pretty cool too. Tech, uh, ch 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 randomly changes key spheres to tech key orbs uh, for attack plus 5% per tech key orb. So for anyone who is trying to run a nuker against the boss, this will definitely help you out a lot. I haven't done this yet. I kind of want to test it out to see uh, like what it would be because I think I, I have both the Vegeta, that's a nuker Vegeta, and the nuker lead Goku. So if I run a double nuker lead Goku... With that Vegeta, get the entire field to tech orbs and then use this item, I'm set. Like, I, I don't I don't know how much damage I'm actually going to do. And that's something that I really will have the damage test. Uh, if someone has done that on YouTube, let me know in the comments below. Um, and I will definitely go and try and check that out. Anyway, this runs until 4.30, so you have some time to run that. <clears throat> Highly recommend doing it. Um, and there's other cool things you could use to purchase with, the, with these uh, metals as well. Not the metals, the uh, items as well. So uh, go ahead and grind them out. 
Anyway, next thing is going to be the Raditz's Pride event. Runs until 423, so you have about four days left. Uh, the only thing that I have left doing is stage three, killing all those stupid Cybermen. I've killed 300 so far, and I just I just can't take the time to sit down and grind it out. I've done everything else. I got the Super Attack 10. I got all four Dupes unlocked, and I have them Doken Awakened. I just, I can't. I, I don't know what it is. I'm sorry, guys. This this grind is just such a pain in the butt and makes no sense. I want the Dragonstones and the Elder Kai, but like two Dragonstones to sit there for like two hours and grind the stage out? I don't know if I could justify that. Anyway, I highly recommend doing this to at least get your Raditz, get Raditz to Doken Wake, and he becomes an AoE. From what I heard, he's a really good AoE when you have him 100% it. Now, I'm not going to tell you to go and use your your uh, potential orbs on him, but from what people are saying, he's really good when you use him on him. So, I mean, take that for what you will. I don't know. I personally probably won't ever do that for him. I think he's just a good AoE for, like, the event over here. Like, I'm running a full AoE team. I have my LR Androids lead for key plus four. Then I look for, like, a Gogeta or an LR Goku, Spear Bomb Goku, anything that's key plus three for all types. And I'll just run it, and that way I can have um, seven key when I start. And I just need to get, like, four or five more, you know, five more key in order to launch the super attack. So I throw Raditz on that team because, you know, why not? Because he hits harder than Chow Man. <laughs> um, so outside of that, yeah, um, you also have this new support item, key plus two and foresee enemies super attacks for three turns. So that's really worth it, honestly. Um, I'd like that if you if you need to know what's going on, if you're like trying to counter um, or if you're like using a Vegito or something like that and you want to know if you should, if the person's going to super attack or if you should throw a Vegito there or something, it's probably, that's definitely worth it. Anyway, that's going to be around for a few more days. I highly recommend grinding out at least the basic stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure those missions are always going to be there, so you can do it next time it comes around. I'll, tr I'll try to get something done tonight or this weekend. I don't know. Um, anyway, the Extreme Z Dokkan Festival is now on as well. Uh, yeah, there's really nothing here on Global, by the way. That's like that's all the events, so it's kind of dead. Uh, though tomorrow we should be getting the Vegito Blue and Rosé new event. So that's definitely going to be awesome. I am probably going to pick up a couple packs for that because I really want Rosé. Anyway, uh, new event, you know, this event that runs until 5-2, so you have some time for that. You can go ahead and summon on it. You have Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, you have the Broly, and you have Goku. Now, I already have all of these guys, so I don't really want to summon on it. Like, part of me wants to summon on it because I would really like one more Broly for the dupe path, and I would really like, I only need one more Vegeta for his dupe path. Um, I don't use Kaioken Goku, but... Uh, because I already, I just 100%ed my super, uh, my Goku Blue because the dupe system just came out, so I just ended up eating his total, whole dupe system. Thank God. I ended up using up almost all the orbs for all different types. I have enough just like to fill in like base dupe system across all across the board on all of them, just in case I pull a really good unit that I don't have. <laughs> but um, as of right now, yeah, my guys are set up, and I definitely don't need him because the uh, super the, the Goku Blue hits a lot harder, especially when he's 100%ed harder than the Kaioken Goku. Anyway. Uh, these are the three that are here. If you don't have any of these three, um, and you don't have the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, then I would recommend summoning on this banner. It's really good, especially if you do not have an AoE. This unit, once you get him Extreme Z Awakened, he becomes super, super viable, and he loses that defense um, debuff. So, really awesome ba uh, banner to summon on. Uh, the other one is going to be the Hybrid Saiyans. There's three discounted summons for 30 stones apiece. I did, th I did two out of the three. Um, I was trying to get one more, but I don't. I couldn't get the last two stones, and th those last two stones were actually going to be from finishing that Raditz event. I'm not really worried about it. So <laughs> it runs until five two. We should get some discount stones on with the uh, Rose event that's coming out. So if I pick up a pack and I get the Rose, uh, then I'll probably do another thirty on this banner. Maybe we'll see what happens. Anyway, this runs until five two. It has the hybrid Saiyans on. It also has all the LRs. That's really the only reason why I'm summoning on it. I'm not going to really hunt. I wouldn't mind getting some dupes with these guys, but. Um, personally, it's really just to see if I can pull an LR. I would really like one, an LR Trunks or an LR Merge Zamasu, because I do not have those guys. Or not Merge Zamasu, LR Zamasu and Rose. I don't have those guys. I would really like to have them. Anyway, uh, with that being said, that's here. You can go ahead and summon on that if you want to. Uh, the Legendary Summon runs until 423, so that ends in a couple days. This is the featured banner with LR Bojack. A lot of good units are actually on this banner. Um, again, like typical featured LR banners, there's just so many damn SSRs and SRs on here. Um, it's really hard to get the card that you want. I would really love to get LR Bojack. Don't get me wrong. It's a really good unit. And I don't... The thing is, like, my Kid Boo's almost 100% it. Or no, I think he is... My Kid Boo is 100% it. My Boo Han's 100% it. And my Janemba's 100% it. And I have the two support units. So I'm like, where would LR Bojack fit on this team? Because Boo Han is a really good healer and good for damage output. Janemba is an amazing tanker because he's 100% it. He does actually do some nice damage output. So it's like, where would I put Bojack? I don't really know. Well, I'd have to look into that. I, I don't know. I really don't know what I would end up doing with that. 
Um, but with this, uh, with this banner, you also get the new Gokua. He does Dokken Waken with these, with these medals. Um, the event is currently available, by the way. Um, I, actually, why did, did I not? Is it not available anymore? I guess I didn't see it over in the um, in the section. Uh, you would want to go in and get these medals uh, from that event. You need the Bujin, the Beedo, the Gokua, and the the the. Zanya medals in order to Dokken Awaken him. You need Bojack medals to Dokken Awaken his L, his uh, SSR to TUR, and these from to go from TUR to LR. Um, Gokua medals for himself. Obviously, you're going to want to do that so you can Dokken Awaken him. Uh, let's see. His passive skill changes agility key orbs to strength, so he's a key orb manipulator for strength. He is going to be really, really useful for LR Broly in the World Tournament, especially on a Janemba team, because remember, he's going to get those buffs from Janemba. So you're going to want to have him on the team. I personally have been running the Boo, the Strength Boo, um, and the Android 17. And then there was another, I think that was it for the Key Orb Manipulator. So I would probably change out the Boo, because Boo is a super unit and he doesn't get the buffs. So I'll change him out for Gokua. Um, and then the other two are going to be like Chiaotzu and someone else because of their, um, Chiaotzu and Jocko because of the stunning ability. But uh, yeah, that's that. Actually, let's go over here real quick just to the uh, events, because I could have sworn... That the Galaxy uh, Super Guy event, Super Guy in the Galaxy event, is um, is a currently available. Let's see over here. Uh, let's see, Super Guy, Guy, Galaxy, um, Galactic Crisis begins. Runs until 4:23. Didn't? Why didn't I not click on this? That's interesting. I did not click on this. Um. All right, cool. So let's go over here and let's open this up. Uh, I feel bad. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> so this runs until 4:23. This is the Bojack and Gohan event. Um, it runs, yeah, 423, so you have a couple more days for this to run. You get the base form, Gohans. Now, I did this grind for LR Gohan. I, I got like 25 of these guys for to get Super Saiyan you, Gohan Youth up to Super Attack 10. Um, definitely, that's a ridiculous grind. It took me about like a week's worth of grinding to get 25 of, of these uh, rare Gohans, Dokken Awakened. And it's mostly because of those stupid Bujin medals, because you have to go up against three people, three stops along the way, and it makes it very difficult to do that. They really need to push an update to the game so you don't have to stop on all of them. Um, anyway, uh, you can get this guy there, then you can Z-Awaken him into an SSR. Once he's Z-Awakened, you have a 50% chance of increasing LR Gohan or any of the other Super Saiyan Gohan used by 50% that our SSRs are higher. Um, well, SSR to, to um, Ultra Rare, uh, before you TUR them. Um, and you also have the Bojack medals that are available on this, so you have that as well. Um, highly recommend doing that. Here you go. So, and here's the medal. Stage 3 is uh, Azania. Stage 4 is Gokua. Stage 5 is Beedo. Stage 6 is Bujin. And Stage 7 is Bojack medals. Don't do Stage 8. It's not worth it. And if you need Gohan medals for other units in the game, definitely Stage 9. So, there you go. There's that. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the banner. So, I think the banner is cool. Um, I don't know. If you guys don't have the units on the banner, definitely worth summoning. If you don't, if you already do have all of them, maybe not so much. I mean, LR Bojack's going to be one of the standard LRs that's going to be available in most non Dokken Fest exclusive banners. Um, and on the type, the intelligence type banner. So, you, you know, you, you have time that you're probably going to be able to get him. He does have higher rates right now, but I mean, again, it's up to you on if you want to hunt him or not. Uh, I gave up hunting LRs. <laughs> uh, anyway, thousand day login or thousand day celebration for Dokkan Fest. Um, yeah, it's technically login runs until 427. I believe yes, last night was the last night to collect, or today is technically the last day to collect your last couple tickets. So I have all my tickets. I will do be doing one major summoning video with you guys. It's only going to be what 55 tickets. So that's going to be 10 summons. Maybe I'll split it up in two separate videos. One for for I'll do a five set. Uh, some multi summons and then another five set of multi summons we'll see how long it takes because if it takes too long i don't want the video to go on for 20 minutes just for summonings because i feel like that would be extremely boring <laughs> anyway this runs until 427 so if you guys haven't logged in and done this well sorry about that log in and summon on it this does end um, on the 27th though so make sure you use those tickets by the 27th otherwise you're going to lose them um, anyway, the Dokkan Battle News, now we're going on to the JP side. Uh, the, the Battle of Gods event is here, runs until 515. You can get this Goku, Dokkan Wake is a Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, meh, not really worth it on that one. Uh, you do now have the, well, I don't want to say now you have it, but it's been available for a while. Intelligence, God, Ku card, Dokkan Awakens with Beerus medals. The two Whis cards, the Technique and the Intelligence Whis, Dokkan Awaken with Whis medals. Um, the new... Physical, well, not new, the old physical Whis, the SR physical Whis, now is a new Dokken Awakening that just became available. Dokken Awakens into a healer, actually, so it's really awesome and really worth it. Um, you definitely want to get that Whis Dokken Awaken. I would assume seven medals to Dokken Awaken. And the White Hot Face Off Goku Dokken Awakens into Godku card. So for those of you on the global side, highly recommend getting the Strength Godku card up to Super Attack 10. He's always been my number one. I like him the most. 
uh, he he does have the first awakened, and when our Ultra Instinct Doken, when our Ultra Instinct Goku Doken awakens, um, his Doken form, not him, the the Strength Doken form uh, of Goku is going to be the Ultra Instinct Goku's best or Goku's best linking buddy. So highly recommend if you're going to feed in those white hot face off Goku's into him to go and get the Strength one to Super Attack Ten first. Personally, um, I probably gonna do a little bit of the grind, and then after a while, I'm probably just gonna get like halfway done and just feed all their guys into him. <laughs> but Beerus Metals are on stage 1, Weiss is stage 2, stages 3 and 4 have really good support items, stage 5 is Gohan, 6 is Goten and Trunks, 7 is Vegeta, 8 is Videl. Um, and that's really it, nothing else here really worth it. Um, I know that Peel Off Seals, uh, Shu gives uh, Ki, and Mai is Attack Reduction for 1 turn by 30%. So, <clears throat> that's really good. Really good, really nice event, really fun event, and it's actually worth it when it comes back because it has some useful useful things in there. Um, so, yeah, actually, I did a video on which God Who cards are the ones that are worth it. I think my order was um, the strength, then the agility, then the intelligence. Um, if he's the physical, you could do it without a problem, so I don't really put him there because I would get him up the Super Tech 10 before, beforehand anyway, and then Doken Awaken him, and then he Doken Awakens again, so you, it's up to you if you want to do the do-pads. Um, I think that was it. I don't think... I, was that a tech one? I forgot. Um, anyway, but yeah, that was my order. The strength one's definitely number one. Uh, Vegeta event, we already went over this on the global side, so go ahead, do what you want to do with this one. This one will run until 5-8, so you have some time to grind that out. Uh, if you guys pulled them, good, you know, good for you. I'm very happy for you. Maybe when I do my summoning video on the global side for the tickets, maybe I'll jump onto the JP and do another multi-summon. I got the, the physical LR trunks from this banner, actually. So... Um, I'll definitely do another summon on this because this is definitely a banner that has some really good units that I want to have. Um, next one is the Balm event. It's interesting that she's still here. Uh, runs until 5-8, so you can go ahead and grind that if you want to get that Balm. She's actually worth it. Um, she does have uh, her own potential system, so you definitely want to 100% her. Um, I, I only have one I did full crit, but I know people grinded out two of them, so that way they could have full crit and they could have... Um, I forgot what the other one was, additionals or dodge. Uh, but yeah, I, I just highly recommend getting her and doing crit because she's really good on that free-to-play tech team if you're going up against like the Frieza event or the uh, Goku event. Uh, runs until 5-8, that's really about it. Uh, the LR, the easy awakening for the full power Frieza event is here till 427. I haven't done it yet. I might, I want to give it a shot. I need to go online and take a look and see what the Reddit's saying about teams for this. I'll do a team building guide with you guys at some point, maybe on Friday. Uh, my work schedule changes, so I will be doing 4x10s over the weekends. So I won't have as many videos over the weekends, but I should have them during the week now at least. Um, <laughs> the Super Battle, uh, well, the, the, the Turtle is, uh, event is here. So this is the actual Doken event. Uh, you get the actual Metals of Doken Awakening, his Doken exclusive card. Um, you also can Doken Awaken his Great Ape form now, which is really awesome. And the Goku, the base form Goku from the movie is now Doken Awakens as well with these medals. So highly recommend doing that. This card is really awesome. I really enjoy this card. I really want him. Um, it's interesting that they finally made a um, Doken Fest exclusive that is a support unit. So we'll see where that goes in the future because we have because I think like they had <clears throat> a lot of different leaders for categories. Now it would be interesting to see them have Doken exclusive support units in a similar fashion how they had the mono banners for the types with the support units. If they started releasing category supports that are like really OP. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that runs until 522, so you have some time to grind that out. Um, the Turles event is here as well, so you can go ahead and grind that out. Highly recommend grinding out the events, so that way you can get the uh, actual medals. I believe it was it was either this stage over here, right before the Icarus, or the one right after the Fruit of the Tree of Might support item. Um, go ahead and grind it out for the Turleses. Um, that way, you, when you don't get Turles, you get the support, uh, the actual Awakening medals. And when you max out those Awakening Medals, you could just sell, like, I mean, it sucks that you can only sell 10 at a time, but you could go and sell, like, three, 400 of them and get nothing but Baba Points. It's definitely good for Baba Farming. Uh, if you want to Doken Awaken the Intelligence Turles, you can definitely, you could Doken Awaken him from the uh, Turles Medals on the last stage. There's no numbers here, which stinks, so I can't give you numbers. Uh, Icarus item is really, really useful. Two turns, attack minus 35%. And the Fruit of the Tree of Might items is also really good because you get key plus three for three, uh, for, yeah, three turns. Um, anyway, so let's see. For Doken Waking, yeah, the Intelligence one, and that's it. I thought the uh, Technique one for Mortal Tournament, but no, he gets his own medals. Runs until 427, another grind fest, but it's kind of worth it if you have the Turles. He's a really good support item. You definitely need the Intelligence one, Doken Waking, for a Mono Intelligence Extreme Team. So definitely go ahead and do it. And you can increase the Super Tech of those Intelligence Turleses with the Strength ones. Um, in terms of this, we already went over this on the global side for 427. Um, you have the Gohans that feed into the LR Gohan base form, um, or the any other Super Saiyan Gohan youth. 
Uh, you have the Bojack medals here, and uh, oh, this go the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I forgot if I had mentioned him. You get the medals, the Doken Awaken, your Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, so that's really worth it. Uh, Bojack medals, and Gokua, and Zanya. Yeah, that's about it. So, yeah, go ahead and grind that one out if you want to. This one, again, runs until 427. Uh, the Korra event is here till 427, as I tell you guys every week whenever it comes around. There's really nothing worth it here. Just do the events, get the medals, get the Dragon Stones. That is, get the Dragon Stones. You could even Baba his units unless you're a completionist. Um, but definitely, I, I don't you, don't. you don't need to even hold on to any of these units. None of them have Doken Wakings. None of them have been useful. If you want to get with Super Tech 10 because you want to prep for the future, because you think that maybe one day they will get a Doken Waking, that this event will have a major overhaul. You know what? Maybe it will. I mean, I never sold any of mine on the global side. I just have them all sitting there. They're not all Super Attack 10. But, you know, maybe one day I'll end up getting Super all of them to Super Attack 10, but I have too much other stuff to grind. Um, the Beerus banner is here. It runs until 5-8. I recommend pulling on it, personally. That, that's just what I do. I do recommend pulling on it. You get these SR Weeses that now Doken Waken. The Beerus is Doken Waken. The, the, the Vegeta is a phenomenal unit. He becomes a staple in a mono super uh, strength team. So I highly recommend getting it. And the Beerus is just really OP as well. He can be really good, especially if you like running Beerus and Whis. You know, Whis is a support unit and you have Beerus who's just ridiculous. So yeah, go ahead and grab him. I highly recommend doing it. Uh, runs until 5-8. Uh, the other one is going to be the Frieza Extreme Z Awakening. You know, you have the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, which is a really good tank on that. Super Saiyan 4 Goku. This banner is not bad because all these units are phenomenal. Um, I mean, if you don't have any of them, definitely summon on it if you want these cards, unless you're, like, trying to conserve for a specific unit that you're waiting for, um, or something like that. But I think this banner is actually really good, because all these units are viable and awesome. Anyway, um, it's funny because the Vegeta is definitely also be a staple for the event to get Extreme Z Awakening and Frieza. Now, I'm not as impressed with his Extreme Z Awakening, because he kept the same passive of attack plus 120% and immense damage. Um, I mean, it's cool that he gets key plus 3 and attack plus, um or defense plus 30% or something like that, but, like, I, why? <laughs> I mean, I know he already tanks a little bit better, but, I mean, like, I guess it doesn't make sense to me. I feel like they should, I mean, I know he did get a staff buff, but I feel like they should have made him, like, maybe a defense plus 100% or something like that. Like, make his defense, like, ridiculous, so that way he, he actually is really good. Because he was already overpowered unit, and he was already a staple on multiple teams, and he's still relevant to this day, but, like, I mean, the extreme Z Awakening is supposed to make the units just be, like, really badass. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just my inner dork trying to freaking geek out over Frieza because he's one of my favorite units. But that's just my opinion on the matter. Um, really good, cool banner. I like it. Runs until 427. If you want to summon on it, go ahead. Good luck. Um, the other one is, I guess, this SSR Tease Tessa Gotcha. I don't know what the heck this is. Uh, movie Boss Villains Gotcha, it looks like. So, uh, not Movie Boss. This is a Movie Boss. Um, oh, this is just part of the uh, stupid thing that's going on right now. I say stupid thing. If you want to summon on it, good luck. I hope you guys have all, good, all the luck in the world. This looks like it's going to be the um, the separate from the World Tournament. There, that's one I was trying to think of. The World Tournament banner, how it was split up and everything. So, uh, good luck. If you guys are summoning on the World Tournament banners, the World Tournament banners runs until 425. Split them up into guaranteed SSRs for World, world Tournament units and for regular units. So, if you want to summon for one or the other, you can finally do that. Now, finally, that, 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 that they are doing that. I'm, I'm definitely not going to be using mine on the global side until that update comes out because I want some of those World Tournament exclusive units that I don't have just for collection purposes. Uh, Doken Fest holding. Let's see over here. So, this is the Turles Doken Fest. Runs until 424. You only have a couple days left of that. It's a good banner. Um, you have some good units on it. So, if you want to go ahead and pull summon on it, Turles is not a bad unit whatsoever. <clears throat> Movie boss leader. Uh, you definitely run some fun teams with that. I have not done a team building guide. I will definitely be doing that one. So that one's going to be a fun video. Um, actually, that's this this banner. Wait, which one is this? Uh, oh, this is his Doken uh, event, I guess. Um, yeah, this is his Doken event. So this is what this Doken event is going to be. And this is his banner. They're both the same damn thing. Um, so you can go ahead over here. You Doken Awaken. I think I already talked about him. Um, yeah, the, the banner itself is really good. You have Beerus, you have Bojack, you have Korra, and you have Frieza. All of them are really good units. Um, Frieza, I mean, uh, Beerus doesn't really fit onto the teams as much, not so well. But you can throw him on there. He's definitely a good unit, especially when his passive goes off. So, you have, you have some good choices when building this team. Again, I'll be doing a team building guide on that, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, guys, that is the weekly grind. Let me know in the comments below if I missed anything. If you have any other questions, I hope that was informative for you. Thanks for taking the time. I'll catch you all in the comments below. Peace.